Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today I've got a special video for you. I'm going to be taking a closer look at how well the Dell XPS 13 performs. Now I've gone ahead and partnered with our friends at Intel to give you a deep dive into why this device right here is awesome. So let's go ahead and jump in. The Dell XPS 13 is a lovely device. It looks great, design, style, build is really fantastic. It's really thin, it's very portable, and it's got a whole host of features that you've seen, some videos I've done from other people that showcase how well this laptop works. But why does it perform really well? Well, it's because of what's underneath the hood, right? We've got the brand new Intel Tiger Lake processor. This is the 11th gen Intel processor with the Iris Xe graphics. And this is also part of the Intel Evo line, which means any device that has those set requirements are part of the Evo line. And this is one of those devices the Dell XPS 13. What I like with what the Intel processor does here, Tiger Lake processor does here, is something truly unique. One of the first things, of course, is battery life. Like, how long does it last? How long can I use it? For a while, we're used to about 10 hours of battery life, and we thought that was great. But with this, you can do 14 hours of battery life, which has been really impressive. So the kind of performance that's been built into that SSC allows for Dell to take advantage of it in this laptop. And in my case, I've been using it for over three weeks now, and I've been able to get consistently about 14, sometimes 15 hours of battery life with this laptop. Day to day, whether I'm just you know, surfing the web, uh, I'm checking out stories, I'm doing some light editing, maybe even some gaming mixed in there. You can do all that quite effectively. Now, performance-wise, we're looking at 2.7x performance boost in terms of content creation. You're looking at about 20% more performance in productivity for office use and a 2x performance in terms of gaming. And you're going, huh, that's a lot of extra power here that this device has given us, right? Thunder E, how does it actually perform? So let's first take a look at what we can do content creation wise, because that's what I do for you guys on a day-to-day -day basis. How am I gonna use this laptop to create content? I'll show you. We're checking out some really cool software from Cyberlink with their uh, Cyberlink Director Suite, which has a ton of software that takes full advantage of what uh, this processor can do. Now, one of the first ones is just a screen recorder, which I'll be using to capture more content. And what I like about it is you've got full screen record, you can do games, you can customize it, but also it's the frame rates. It can go up to 120 frames per second as a gamer, capturing some of that gaming content, it makes a whole lot of sense to use this. So we're gonna go ahead and hit record and then we're going to go ahead and check out a couple of the pieces of software they have. Now the first one is Power Director. And with Power Director, what I like about it is the fact that it allows me to jump in and do a couple of things. It's got a couple of modes, full storyboard mode and slideshow creator different modes for different functionality, or I can go jump into the full creator itself, allowing you to customize and use it the way you want to use it. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can switch between 16 by nine or nine by 16 quite easily. So if you want to do something on YouTube, you want to create something for Instagram and so on and so forth, it is quite easy to do that. But we're going to create some files here. And what I'm going to do is going to go and open this up I'll drag some files from Colonel Singala because of course it's the Colonel. And uh, I'll show you some content creation here that's quite cool. One of the cool things is a plugin called AI, AI Plugin, which takes full advantage, AI style plugin takes full advantage of the GPU here in the Tiger Lake processor. And we can go ahead and do a couple of things with it. So I can pick a style, for instance, say painting, and then I can select my video file as a source, media room, and boom. Let's select the kernel there, hit okay. And what this does is creates an AI style for you. This is a much longer clip, so I wouldn't do the full rendering for you here, but you can see it creates a different style. I can pick and choose different ones to use. But this is using the GPU to give you that uh, performance real time. You can go ahead and scrub through, you can see how it looks, and then you can render that out. 
What's really cool is once you render it out is some of the other things you can actually do with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit transform and that will transform it for you. All right, so something else you can do is use a plugin that is called Video Collage Designer. Now I like this because this is one that allows you to create collages uh, for your social platforms and creating some really cool content uh, quite easily. So I'm gonna use three image clips and uh, let's pick one that we like. Let's go with this. I'm gonna take that kernel footage that I transformed. I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna drop this image here. I'm gonna drop this one right here. And you can customize the border size, uh, the interclip size, all that fun stuff, the animation, and do a few things. But it's easy because you don't have to do anything other than drag it and drop it, and then you have this clip. I mean, that's just pretty nice and cool to just throw up on Instagram. I'll put it up on my Instagram page so you guys can check it out, but it's easy to have something like this uh, that you can create from your clips. And uh, boom, jumps on your timeline and then you can render it out. Done. Now the next piece of software in your suite that's really interesting to look at is Photo Director. Now Photo Director gives you the full suite of photo editing. You can do go into adjustments uh, to do all the adjustments you need. As a typical editor, you can go into edit uh, as well. But what I do like is the guided. For someone who wants something nice and simple, but uh, a lot of things to do, guided really brings things forward. So let's go into guided. And you've got a couple of tools. There's the AI style transfer. This one's pretty easy. Allow you to do some uh, AI defaults here. You can do this maple leaf. Uh, you can also select an object out, like the human hand. So you can see that there. Very simple, really easy. And again, you can see how quick that actually worked. Again, using the, uh, the power of the 11th gen processor, doing those effects quite easily. Uh, the glitch effect is also one that's pretty nice. We're gonna go to our subject here. We can pick a glitch effect, and then we can also just separate our outs. So some of that effect is still there. You can see it right there. Really nice, it's simple, and again, easy to use. Now, one I do like quite well is just doing some of the photo animations. And uh, this is on the animation effects. I pick this here. And it's really simple and easy to play with. It's gonna set some guide marks. I've got the rocket blasting off here, going into space. And then once we hit animate, again, see how quickly it does that right off the bat. There's you know, almost no processing time. And it feels like, you know, the effects of the rocket are blasting off is just really showcasing uh, around the surroundings, which is pretty nice. So easy tools, really nice, taking advantage of Intel's uh, 11th gen processor. You can see how well the XE graphic does in terms of just video editing, creating content, and also just uh, photo editing and creating some really cool visuals using Cyber Director's uh, suite. All right, so let's talk about gaming. It's a pretty small light laptop. This is not what you think of when you think about gaming, you think about a gaming laptop, but you can do quite serious work on the Dell XPS 13, thanks of course to that Intel Tiger Lake processor. Now, taking a look at a game like, of course, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, playing at uh, medium settings or normal, if you will, we're getting about 31 frames per second, which is really nice to see. So you can at least run it at 31 frames per second, then that's good. And then we go to the lower settings, we get up to about 37 frames per second on Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So that is quite impressive. You can continue your gameplay sessions, jump on Steam, all that fun stuff, and start gaming. Now, a game that of course a lot of people tend to play on, you know, on different machines is Overwatch. Now, Overwatch at its lower settings, we're able to get 65 to about 70 frames per second, which was nice to see. So Overwatch is definitely pretty well. Again, above 60 frames, a fast-paced game like this, which is nice. And even going down to 
uh, high settings, uh, we're able to get between 47 to around f almost 60 frames per second. So this machine is very capable of getting some of your gaming needs covered, you know, so if you're playing games like Overwatch, uh, you know, Counter-Strike, you can definitely jump in and play on the system. And that Intel XE graphic definitely shows the kind of performance upgrade that we're getting here. Uh, to see that we can actually push those limits in the gaming segments and giving us the kind of performance that we we want to expect plus you know combined with that battery life it makes a whole lot of sense so hopefully this video gives you a good idea of what to expect from the dell xps 13 as well as devices powered by intel's 11th gen uh, processor part of that intel evo line i think you'll be quite impressed to see what it has to offer and i think intel has done a really good job in showcasing uh, processor for laptops that make it just unique enough for you to go, you know what, I can work, I can play, and I've got something that's really portable. So thank you very much, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, don't forget to leave them down below. And also like, share, subscribe, and enjoy entertainment.